In this tutorial, we will show you how to edit a macro in Excel. First of all, open the workbook from which you want to retrieve the data. Then switch your workbook and return back to the previous one. Go to the Developer tab and click on the Macros button. When the Macro window opens, click on the Edit button. A new window will open for VB Editor, where you can add codes. Go to the bottom of the codes. The words end sub mean that it's the end of the codes. So we have to write the code before end sub. Click at the end where it says active cells dot select and press enter a few times to add space. We already made a macro which helped us in retrieving data from other workbooks. We can add a code which will ask the name of the person when the macro is run. In order to do so, write your name is equals to space input box bracket open inverted commas open what is your name question mark inverted commas close bracket close. In the next line, write range bracket open inverted commas open a3 inverted commas close bracket close dot value is equals to inverted commas open data retrieved by space inverted commas close space ampersand space your name. In the third line, write range bracket open inverted commas open a1 inverted commas close bracket close dot select. The first code is asking the question and displaying it in a box. The second code tells it where to appear and what should be written before the name. The final code automatically selects the first cell. Now when you will press Control shift g which is the shortcut key to run the macro, it will get the data and will ask you for your name. Enter the name and press the OK button and you will see that in cell A3, which we had used in the code, data retrieved by James will be displayed. Cell A1 will automatically be selected.